Oh, and yeah, just to start off with a worthwhile exercise in the end tonight. I think so. Yeah, I've seen um, performances from players that that um, you know have told me they want to be in the, the starting line on Wednesday. Um, there's always something to work on. So you know, for, for young lads, experienced lads, you know, for us to guide um, guide them forward. Um, we we know we, if we if we press well, we press with intensity. Will will cause anybody problems, and um, you know we create chances again. And uh, you know only Niles at strike to show for it. Where we should have more. Okay, was that you know there's so many positives, but that was a disappointing factor, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you know the, the penalty kick, the, the you know the first goal and stuff like that. Yeah. But, you know, I assume you're taking more positives tonight than negatives. I think so. Yeah, I think so. You know, people perhaps question a game like this. Um, I was excited about it. I knew it'd be a test because they were going to play the pretty much their full hit. Um, so, you know, lots of like Dan Ballard and, and, and Kieran Brown coming up against uh, Pulisic and, and, you know, uh, Darryl Dyke is doing so well with Barnsley in, in the championship. He, he's, um, he, he's looking looking good. And, he, and he, you know, for, for, for young players to be playing at this level and, and getting that experience, I think it's going to be a good step for, for later on. And, and it, was a, it wasn't an experienced side with, with, you know, the spine of the team with it, you know, Corey Evans, Colin Buckland. Uh, George Savile and, and, and Lash were, were the experienced boys, really. And was strong striking now and again. Super strong, yeah. And that's what he's capable of. And he, and he um, you know, he, he's come in uh, knowing that he was he was on standby. And he, he was called in, called in late, but you know what you get from him? He, he, he's no problem. He wants to do well for, for his country. He wants to do well for the lads. And, and you know, he's come on and he's taken that strike. And, and uh, you know, he's taking uh, uh, some shoot price as well. Going into Wednesday night, but we know how vital it is on Wednesday night against Bulgaria. It, Do you have a selection headache going into it by after time? It was all about getting through today without any injuries. Um, so there were certain players that were on the bench that were never going to get on, and, and they probably knew that. But um, you know, I had it in my mind what changes I wanted to make. Um, and it, it was in the dressing room, and any injuries? No, fine, great job done. Um, and, and we, we, it was all towards building towards Wednesday. Uh, and now I think it's got to, got to be a collective effort, one final effort for the next few days to, to build towards that. You must have been delighted with Dion Charles. He certainly looked lively immediately. You, you wouldn't expect anything less, would you? Um, you know, he's raw around the edges, we know that. But, um, you know, we'll help him along, try and polish him up, and, and he'll go back to his club, you know, a better player. He's mixed with the the, the older guys, he asked questions on the training pitch before I told him to, to do. He's trying to soak up as much as possible. And he's um, he, he's someone who wants to learn. And that's uh, it's pleasing to see him come on, get a strike, a goal, get the target, all right, straight at the keeper. But, you know, shows his confidence. You know, he's not he's not lacking in confidence. And he's um, he's, a, he's a nice lad to have around as well. Uh, the defence obviously haven't played together. But I don't think Connor has saved anything until the 12 minutes ago. <laughs> Well, that's the disappointing thing because we've got to lost the game 2-1. Um, I don't think it was a penalty. I've seen it in there uh, and told uh, by a couple of people via text that, that it was never a penalty from the, you know, the, the coverage, the TV coverage. So you know, that's disappointing. You go into the, you know, the final 20 minutes or whatever and you're 2-0 down and it takes the stuffing out of you a little bit. But no, we didn't, we didn't give it. Um, kept trying to push forward um, and say, so, <clears throat> friendly you're making a lot of changes I know I've made four changes at one time so it, it disrupts things but you know players got on them. I know it sounds a daft thing to say but it was only the second game in the campaign but do you view Wednesday night as a must win if, if we want to have a chance? I've, I've got a record before you know if, if we want to be in the top two in, in, in the group then we have to win, win games like Bulgaria at home no disrespect to, to Bulgaria and, and you know it's um, we don't want to be going into September, which is the next obviously next time we play, you know, having not uh, recorded a victory in the first two games, and, and you know, you have to chase it. It means we then have to go on, you know, probably beat Switzerland twice. Um, you know, it, we just relieve relieve some of the pressure that, that would you know build up going towards September. Does it concern you Ian, that that's another match that's gone by without a win at Winter? I hate losing games of football. Yeah, but uh, look. I said I'll, I'll take the flag from the players, no problem. Um, you know, the stuff that, that, that's, that's written is, is, is not a problem to me. Um, I know we're in the right direction. I know we're, we're, we're getting together uh, and integrating a really good group of players. 
and, and you know, it's, um, it's something that we've got to be patient with at times. But um, you know, I'll, I'll, if we're not counting Bosnia, then yeah, I want to get our first victory. Um, and you, you obviously don't have three at the back. That's the the bar top blueprint. Oh, no, because I, you know, I played four three three, and I, I, I just at this moment, um, I, you know, certainly for this camp, I saw that as a as a as a way forward for us. Two uh, two strikers up the park as well. I think we've got midfielders that can get about the, the pitch. I think we've got four full backs or wing backs that are athletic enough to get up and down and create. Um, and you know, I, I see that as a. I speak to players as well. They enjoy playing in it. They feel comfortable in it. But we work on four three three as well. We work on other shapes. You know, it's um, it, it may change come September for, for those groups of games. And Davis and Evans, you certainly didn't take any risks from them. They didn't even make the bench. No, no chance. No, I was. No, I, I spoke to them both yesterday, so they knew that. Um, I named the team this morning, but they knew last night they weren't even going to get changed. So um, it doesn't matter how much they argue with me. What they meant. And the Lavery, he was lively. You know, let's be honest, he's not going to be at Lavery this next season, is he? Um, don't tell David Healy, but I hope not. Um, I, I like him. You know, I like him. I've worked with him. He's a he's a great lad to work with. I think he's got something, and um, you know he's finding his feet at this level as well. Uh, and, and say so, uh, was it 60 minutes, 65 minutes? That was standing in good stead. Um, he took ball off a great save, low to his right when he when he took the shot on on his. Uh, I would say on. Um, he could have turned back and turned down the, the strike, but it was uh, it was pleasing to see him get his strike off. And I, and I think you know him and Kyle. I thought well, we're together. Good Do you think with the USA, Ian, they're ranked higher than Russia and Norway and so on? And would you say they they went near enough full strikes tonight? Do you think the younger players could survive in the starting lineup tonight of six or six or fewer camps? Because we here on the ground, it was only yeah. in the second camp. Yeah, those, those young guys will learn a lot from from, from that experience. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, you know, I, I look at the the athleticism of, of their players as well. I look at the the stature of them. You know, they're, they're, they're well built. They've obviously been nurtured from from a young age. Um, you know, to you know, what sports science, the, the colleges over over in the US, um, they they produce good athletes. Um, and, and now I think football is is becoming more important in there. You know, where where their sports uh, sit, and, and they've they've made a concerted effort. Uh, in what they do in, in, in America to, to bring those younger players through. And they've certainly made an effort to try and get them playing U European football at good clubs. And, and, you know, a good few of them are, are all playing at a very good level. Uh, and you can see that. So, um, you know, but they, they, do, they have the resources. They have the amount of people to, to do that with as well. Um, so, you know, we can't be overly envious about it. We have to do within our constraints, with our budget, with our... Um, population, you know, what we can, and we're trying to do our very own as well, working with our, with our younger players. I don't think we're doing bad, it's just we might have to be patient with it. Cheers, Darren. Guys on the online panel, any questions? Ian, do you want to kick us off? Please, Dave, yes. Ian, can I just ask you about the performance of Kieran Brown and Dan Ballard? It looked as if uh, they did well given again options at the back. Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, I was really pleased with the way both of them performed. Um, you know, it was uh, not an easy situation coming in uh, and, and playing with, with uh, the three of them. Never played together before with Conor McLaughlin in the middle. But um, no, I think they can both be, be pleased with what, what they've gone and done. They look strong, they look resolute. Um, you know, I think um, you know, they just need to gain more experience. And, and certainly it was, uh, you know, they were, they were competitive. I don't think they got, they got uh, overran. And uh, yeah, really, really pleased. Thank you. 